Presentation College Chaguanas has already claimed their spot in the final round of the competition. Today we'll find out which team will march on to become the second finalist in WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. WASA's 5th National Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O, WASA 50 years and beyond. This year we're talking history. The history of WASA, the water and wastewater sector and future plans. WASA, so if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Wasa, water security for every sector. Deliver it, sustain it. Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to semi-final number two of Wasa's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. I'm your host, Vernon Ramasar, and we're coming to you live on CTV and broadcasting from Wasa's Public Education Center, St. Joseph. We've already explored many interesting facts throughout the competition thus far, and believe it or not, there are many more to be discovered. But before we learn more, here are the rules. The buzzer should only be tapped after the moderator finishes reading the question. If the buzzer is tapped prior to the moderator completing the question, the question will automatically be passed to the opposing team. There are five rounds of competition. During rounds one to four, students are restricted from communicating with each other. Participant one on either team will answer question one alone. Participant 2 on either team will answer question 2, etc. If any student is found answering another's question, this student will be disqualified. 100 points will be awarded for all correct answers. 0 points will be awarded for incorrect answers and for partially correct answers. The judges will decide to award 50 or 75 points or ask for clarification towards awarding the total of 100 teams can earn a maximum of 2,000 points, that is 20 questions by 100 points. If a team is asked a question and does not answer it correctly, the question will be handed over to the other team to answer. If the second team answers correctly, they are awarded 50 points, that is half of the points. The judges can also award 25 points for a partially correct answer. During round five, students can collaborate as this round offers team questions and hence the answer can be discussed. Questions will be posted to the teams individually. After the host reads the question, a total of 15 seconds will be given to participants to collaborate and begin their response. If a team fails to begin their response within the allotted 15 seconds, zero points will be awarded for the question. The judge's decision is final. Those were the rules, and now your judges. Joining us today is head judge, David Benny, head research and development. Sheena Briggs Edwards, safety officer. And Kemba Cox, corporate communications officer. As usual, they're all employees of WASA. The winner of this year's quiz will walk away with $100,000 cash for their school and a uniquely designed championship trophy. These prizes go along with the esteem of joining the ranks of champions of WASA's National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O. Here with us today are two teams in prime position to be the season's champion. They are San Juan South Secondary and Vishnu Boys Hindu College. Akila Abdul Latif of San Juan South Secondary, who's on your team? My team is Rondell Lewis, Ronaldo Ferguson, Kayla Pope, and myself, Akila Abdel Latif. Thank you, Akila. And now, Satya Maharaj of Vishnu Boys Hindu College, please introduce your teammates. It is my pleasure to introduce my teammates, Sanjeev Maharaj, Prakash Bhudrama, Nishkal Maharaj. Thank you, Satya. Well, we take a short break now, but when we return, the action begins. Keep it locked on to CTV or stream with us on ctntworld.com, WASA's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition. In the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond, we'll be back after this. So if you're ready, show us what you know. In the know with H2O, WASA, 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the know with H2O, WASA. I feel so happy for the first time to get water in Cottonell after 40 years. We were filled with joy and we were really, really thankful when we got water here in Cotton Hill for the first time. 
You never know what I got in here. Boy, I was so happy when I get this water. I said to be a few times a day. Wassa, celebrating 50 years of service. Forming and educating the nation, especially the young ones, about water, how it's won and processed, and how it should be protected, are just a few of our major responsibilities here at the Public Education Center. The enjoyable learning environment, cultivating conservation habits, developing healthy relationships, and giving our public an appreciation of the environment in which we produce water. WASA's PEC, the region's only public education center on water. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If no, no, it is to go. WASA, 50 years and beyond. Hey, if no, no, it is to go. WASA. Welcome back to WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools Quiz in the Noah Days 2 50 Years and Beyond. Coming to you live from WASA's Public Education Centre in St. Joseph and transmitting on the number one station for local programming, CTV. Teams, before we get the ball rolling, let's get reacquainted with the categories. History of the Water Sector. History of the Wastewater Sector. Social, Economic and Leadership Impacts. Future plans beyond 24 7 and 2015, and corporatization. Semi final one, round one, history of the water sector begins now. So, Akili and Satya, you can join me here at the podium. Multiple choice, wait till I've read all the options at the end. In 1966, the Maraval Waterworks was refurbished to supply an additional blank cubic meters of water per day. A, 3,540 cubic meters. B, 4,950 cubic meters. C, 4,540 cubic meters. You've rang in a bit earlier. I haven't finished the question, so it'll go to Vishnu Boys. D, 3,650 cubic meters. The answer is D. D is incorrect. The answer is C, 4,540 cubic meters. Thank you both. And now Kayla of San Juan South and Sanjeev, your turn up here. What is the meaning of the acronym PSIP? Vishnu boys. Public service. Institute plan. That is incorrect. Hand it over to San Juan South. Private sector investment program. So I believe that's also incorrect as well. Public sector investment pro program. Thank you both. And now Ronaldo and Rick Ash. This is multiple choice. Again, wait till I read all the options. In 1996, upgrade of the Karani Water Treatment Plant began under which of the following program of works? A, Water Treatment Development Project. B, South Water Project. C, Karani Water Treatment Expansion Project or D, North Water Project? Stand one south. C, Kearney Water Treatment Expansion Project. That is incorrect. Vision Boys. B, South Water Project. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> and now, Rondell and Nikash. Nishkal, sorry. In what year was the Signal Hill Booster Station in Tobago commissioned? Vision Boys. 2004. Absolutely correct. Well done. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the first round. So without further delay, let's dive into round two, the history of the wastewater sector. Once again, Akila and Satya, while well, you're ahead of me there, well done. Multiple choice again. Wait till I read all the options. What is the estimated total number of WASA customers served by centralized sewage systems? A, 78,000, B, 80,700, C, 79,800, or D, 78,900? Vishnu boys. C. C, 79,800 is correct. Well done. <laughs> now, Kayla and Sanjeev, multiple choice and fill in the blank question. The first national wastewater development by Lock Joint America in the 1960s represented the largest single capital injection in wastewater infrastructure in the blank year old history of the sector. A, 66, B, 105, C, 94, or D, 86. Stand one south. 
be 105. 105 is correct. Well done. <laughs> now Ronaldo and Rikash. In what year was the first major sewage works built along Wrightson Road, Port of Spain? Sam wants out. In 1902. 1902 is correct. Well done. <laughs> and now Rondell and Michelle. Here's your question. 30% of the population is currently served by centralized sewage systems. What percentage is covered by WASA's wastewater treatment facilities? Uh, Bernan. Bernan. The Vishnu Boys College student hands was not decided before. So in any case, it'll go over to San Juan South. Well done. San Juan South, give us your answer, please. 20%. 20% is correct. Well done. <laughs> well, the teams have tested their knowledge in the first two rounds, but there's still three more to go. We take a short break and come back with the scores. This is Wasser's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. distribution has changed dramatically from 18% to an impressive 73%. The accelerated infrastructural development conducted across the country has ensured that many areas received water for the very first time. Very happy when we got water for the very first time in life. Thank God we get some water now. Everything is a whole lot better. Look, we get water in the pipe. So happy. We just cannot express how happy we are. Now I don't have no problem again. Like Celebrating the joy now flowing across the country. Back then, we depended on the rain for water. So the little you have, you have to make it last. But now, since Wasa came into the area and gave us pipe on water, it's a great relief. Water is life. You depend on water every day. Now, we're living better. WASA, celebrating 50 years of service. So if you're ready, show us what you know. In the know it is to go. WASA, 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the know it is to go. WASA. And welcome back. You're viewing CTV for WASA's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. Coming to you live from WASA's public education center in St. Joseph, the region's number one source for all things water. Feel free to pay them a visit, but if you can't, you can also log on to www.wasa.gov.tt. Judges, the score is thus far. Vishnu Boys Hindu College, 250 points. San Juan South Secondary School, 300 points. Well, in round three, the focus is on social, economic, and leadership impacts. Let's begin with Akila and Satya. In what year did WASA introduce the use of new trenchless pipe laying technology? Vishnu Boys. In 1999. That is incorrect. Pass it over to San Juan South. Nineteen seventy-six. That's also incorrect. The answer is nineteen ninety-seven. Thank you both, Kayla and Sanjeev. It's your turn up here now. Here's your question: How many industrial, commercial, and domestic customers were targeted in WASA's nineteen ninety-two metering program? Vishnu Boys. Eighteen. 
18. Yes. Roger, that is incorrect. Pass it over. Over to you, San Juan South. Thirty-six. I didn't quite hear you. <laughs> That's incorrect. Yes. Okay, the answer is eight thousand customers. So Ronaldo and Rikash, your turn up here. Multiple choice. Wait till I've read all the options at the end. In what year did the government centralize the administration of public water supplies by creating the Central Water Board, the CWB? A, 1935, B, 1904, C, 1938, or D, 1923? San Juan South. The answer is A, 1935. The answer is A, and that's correct. Well done. Rondell and Mishkel now. Which of the following computer software systems did WASI use to replace the ALC system? This is multiple choice. Wait till I read all the options. A, SCADA, B, Oracle, C, Maximo, or D, Storms? Vishnu boys. Oracle. D, B, Oracle. B, Oracle is correct. Well done. <laughs> Remember, both teams are competing for a spot in the finals and a chance to claim the ultimate prize. We've just passed the halfway point. Now let's look at WASA's future plans beyond 24-7 in 2015. Once again, Akila and Satyan, you know the drill. First question, multiple choice in this round. What percentage of the population in the Malabar catchment is connected to centralized sewage systems? A, 48%, B, 29%, C, 14%, or D, 88%? Stand one south. A, 48%. That is incorrect. Over to Vishnu boys. B, 29%. B, 29% is correct. Well done. <laughs> now Kayla and Sanjeev. Within what time frame is construction of the new wastewater treatment plant at San Fernando expected to be completed? Vishnu boys. By 2035. That is... That's incorrect. Incorrect. We pass it over to San Juan South. Twenty twenty. Also incorrect. That is incorrect. As well. The answer is thirty six months or three years. Thank you both, Ronaldo and Rikash. Now, this is a fill in the blank question. The Karani South Trunk main dueling project involves the installation of eleven hundred millimeter diameter pipeline from the Karani WTP to blank. San Juan South. San Fernando. That is incorrect. Pass it over to Vishnu boys. Port of Spain water treatment plant. Also incorrect. The answer is Hoover. So Rondell and Ishkal. Multiple choice. Wait till I read all the options. Which of the following projects is part of WASA's 24-7 program of works in Tobago for 2015? A, installation of a storage reservoir at Plymouth. B, refurbishment of the Bloody Bay water treatment plant. C, construction of a dam at Highland Road. Or D, upgrade Charlottesville intake to a water treatment plant. San Juan South. The upgrade of the Charlottesville intake of water treatment plan. Judges, I believe that's what I have here. Yeah. That's correct. Upgrade of Charlottesville intake to a water treatment plant. <laughs> With only one round to go, who will be the second school to make it to the finals of the competition? Stay tuned to CTV, Wassel's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the Noah's Age 2 50 years and beyond. We'll be back in a flash. So if you're ready, Show us what you know, if you know it is to go. What's up? 50 years and beyond. Hey, if you know it is to go. What's up?
When you waste water, you waste one of the most precious resources in the world. By turning off the water while we brush our teeth and by using a watering can to water our plants, using a bucket to wash our cars, we can save millions of gallons of water every day and still get the job done. A message from the Water and Sewage Authority. In all the years in Scorpion, you used to get trouble for water, but now we get getting real water, I can't lie. We have five on water going straight up to the hills, so we can all rest down our buckets now. I'm so, so happy. Water for the first time. Wassa, celebrating 50 years of service. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If you know it is to owe. Wassa, 50 years and beyond. Hey, if you know it is to owe. Wasa's Public Education Center, as we're on the brink of finding out who moves forward to the grand finale. You're viewing the second semi-final match of Wasa's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition, In the Know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. We've almost come to the end of today's contest, but first, the scores. Vishnu Boys Hindu College, 400 points. San Juan South Secondary School, 500 points. Today's competing teams will have a task ahead of them with one round left on the card. The competition is far from over. Teams, are you ready? Keep in mind that in this round, you are free to collaborate with your respective team members to come up with the answers to questions based on corporatization. San Juan South Secondary, you won the toss early and have elected to go first. So the first question goes to you, San Juan. Good luck to you. Multiple choice. Which of the following measures was performed by WASA's Corporate Governance Task Force? A, development and approval of a code of ethics and business conduct. B, establishment of a system-wide performance measurement system. C, commencement of an emergency disaster plan with employees. D, implementation of an audited financial statement. B, establishment of a system-wide performance measurement system. That is not the answer we have here, so we pass the question over to Vishnu Boys. A. A, development and approval of a code of ethics and business conduct is correct. Well done. <laughs> we stay with you, Vishnu Boys, for your team question. Which of the following is not a performance indicator under NWSC Uganda's performance management system? A, collection efficiency, B, sound institutional regulations, C, staff productivity, D, water network extension. The answer is B. B, sound institutional regulations is correct. Question three to San Juan South. Fill in the blank. Singapore has been very effective in integrating land use planning and water blank. Water services. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. We go over back to Vishnu Boys now. Distribution? Also incorrect. The answer is management. But we stay with you now. Fill in the blank. The prevention of water pollution at an early stage is very critical for successful blank management. Water management. That's incorrect. Pass it over to San Juan South. Wastewater management. That's also incorrect. The answer is catchment. So now you know. 
Well, that concludes the question that answers the semi-final number two. In a few minutes, we'll reveal the scores and find out who moves on to the finals. More to come on Wasa's fifth national secondary school's quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. So if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Now that we are receiving this water, we are so happy. We just cannot express how happy we are getting this water in our, in our pipes. I'm so happy for Wasa. And they do a good job. I'm so, so happy. Water for the first time. Thank you, Wasa. Wasa, celebrating 50 years of service. Water, you waste one of the most precious resources in the world by filling up the sink when we wash our dishes, taking shorter showers, and by fixing leaking water tanks, we can save millions of gallons of water every day and still get the job done. Remember, we need water because without water, your life will never be the same. Water, use only what you need. A message from Wasa. So, if you're ready, show us what you know. If you know it is to Welcome back to Wasa's 5th National Secondary School's Quiz Competition in the Noah's H2O, 50 Years and Beyond, coming to you live on CTV and ctntworld.com. With these two schools, weeks of head-to-head -head competition all culminates in this moment. We're moments away from revealing our second finalist. Remember, whichever of you makes it through today, please note that you both made your respective schools very proud. Let's find out who moves forward to the finals and whose journey ends today. Judges, the final scores. Vishnu Boys Hindu College, 550 points. San Juan South Secondary, 500 points. Well done to Vishnu Boys Hindu College and good fight, San Juan South. Well, you will join Presentation College Chaguanas in the finals to determine who will become the 2015 champion. As we go, a special thanks to our judges. I'm your host, Vernon Ramasar. Join us again at 5 p.m. on CTV or streaming live on ctntworld.com Friday, May 29th for the third place playoff, where we'll see either St. Joseph Convent St. Joseph or San Juan South Secondary School capture the third place prize of $25,000 cash for their school. This has been Wasa's fifth National Secondary School's quiz competition in the Noah's Age 2 50 years and beyond. Bye for now, and thanks for viewing. Wasa's fifth national schools quiz competition in the know with H2O. Wasa, 50 years and beyond. This year we're talking history. The history of Wasa, the water and wastewater sector, and future plans. Wasa, so if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Wasa, water security for every sector. Deliver it, sustain it.